Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the land of Manchu, formerly Haichi, under new management. We are at war with Japan, and that war is going horribly. However, the war also includes Ming, and that part of the war is going swimmingly. What's Ming's individual score? Negative nine. Perfect. So we're helping out. Sieging up the Ming. Uh, yeah, as soon as one of these guys finishes his job of sieging, we will send him out on looting duty. Looting duty! But I need to unsiege my vassal's lands. It's kind of important. Dali has pieced out. That's fine. So Ming is now going to focus on us. Or on uh, uh, Oirat. That's fine too. And Oirat is fine too. What's interesting is Oirat is simply not fighting this other war. He had Siberia and Uzbek declare war on him. Man, he's just ignoring them entirely. He doesn't care. He's like, I want to fight Ming. I don't like Ming. Ming smells. Well, he's not wrong. Ming does smell. But uh, you'd think you'd want to fight your other war since, you know, you're getting invaded. You're quite literally getting invaded. Crimea declared war on Muscovy. Oh! The Crimean Conquest of Muscovy. I'm not sure that's a smart idea, Crimea. I mean, granted, Muscovy is at war with Poland. Hmm. I wonder if Crimea can pull this off. You know what? I bet he can, because he's got no guy and the Ottomans backing him up. Denmark has honored the... So Denmark, Norway, and Sweden are all on Muscovy's side against Crimea, no guy, and the Ottomans. Wow. That'll be fun. Go Crimea! Alright, Tong, you have now become my looting army. Let's go loot. Also, hopefully you can't hear my neighbor's loud upstairs plumbing. Uh, I just hope, because it's quite loud. Also, I should leave one of these guys uh, back in bouting. Yeah. I don't care if I lose one guy. I don't want to lose both. Looting, looting. Looting, looting over the ocean blue. La 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 la. Hey, Tomsk is done. Cool, Tomsk. You are done. Go. Colonize. So that's going to be the border between Manchu and Russia. Right there. Whoop. Looks fun. That's not even worth it. It's only a one base tax. Screw that one. Oh man, these are so good. 5, 12, 9, 15. Look anyway, at just skipping me. Alright, again, attacked. We're getting attacked. Okay. No, no, no. Go ahead and attack. Go on. You can do it. No? Please get there in time. Timrid's the next deli. Oh, fun. I'm not going to get there in time. Damn it. Maybe? Nope. Fuck. We lost our siege progress. That's what sucks. And he's not going to crush either. Oh, he did. Okay. 
Ah, all right, new mercs. Damn it. Oh, we're under attack. Whoops. Can I get there in time? I hope so. Mountains, right? Come on, mountains. Hold me. Hold me. Make me feel... No, nah, I'm not going to quote Madonna. Come on. Man, this looting is a lot of micromanaging. It'd be cool if there was a button for just auto-loot, where it just roam around and loot for you. Good, we got there in time. Gain three inflation or lose one stability. Well, how much is stability boost right now? 146. So gaining the inflation is probably better. Okay. I think he's going to his capital. Yeah, the Oirats are still not fighting their own war. They're just ignoring it. They're they're pretending it doesn't exist. Which is fair, I guess, because in reality it doesn't exist, does it? That war is happening only in your head. Okay, Insta Crush. Insta Crush, good, good. How's Ming's manpower these days? Talk to me, Ming. Uh, Ming, he's got 3,500, so we have more manpower than he does. That's good. So anything he builds will be mercenaries. All right, where are you going, Ming? Where are you going, Ming? There he is. Hold on, bro. Don't rush. I want to give you a nice hug. The best kind of hug. Please catch him. Yeah. Squish, squish, squish. No, he got an end of the month bonus. He squished. Woohoo. Goodbye, Ming army. I'm sorry. Did I crush your concentration? still over the force limit, so I'm hesitant to build any more mercs, but I do need to keep sieging, so maybe what we'll do is we'll use just a couple small stacks to siege. Just a couple. Just a bit outside. Yeah, okay. Oh, the Oirats are actually going to go fight their war now. Cool. 
Good luck with that, Oirat. Okay, group up. Colonist arrived. Good, good. There's the border. Aha! He's protective of us. Muscovy views Manchu as part of their sphere of influence and will seek to protect them from aggressors by guaranteeing them or making them their vassal. Well, let's not do the whole vassal thing. Let's do, um, how about you guarantee me? Request protectorate. Hmm. Now, if he protectorates me... Does, I know that means I get 20% cheaper tech. Does that also mean that I uh, no longer have vassals? And does that mean I can no longer declare wars? What does this mean? I've never been a protectorate before. Someone help me out. I can't do it while I'm at war. You can't have vassals, but AI can't form coalitions against you. That's nice. Um, but the not having vassals thing is kind of limiting. So just annex all the land then. I guess that works. What happens to my current vassals? You lose all your, cur all your current vassals. I don't want to lose my current vassals. That would suck. That would really suck. Denmark surrendered to the Livonian order. Denmark will be forced to give the Livonian order 10% of their trade income. Denmark will cede Osul to the Livonian order and pay 24 ducats. How did Denmark lose a war to the Livonian order? Does anyone know? That just seems a little out of place. Just a wee bit. I'm really surprised the Oirats are not fighting their own war. They're just ignoring this. He just brought his 30 stack back down here for some reason. I don't know. Oh shit, the looting army. Whoops. Let's sort it by name. There he is. He's got 3,000 troops. <laughs> and no manpower. That's fantastic. <sighs> oh, right. The explorer. Whoops. Um... Yeah, go this way. And then come down, and then come back. Too bad we don't have the range for that yet, but we will eventually. Yeah, keep the war taxes going just to make sure we have an economy. Get his capital. That'll slow down the mercs. Uh, okay. Capital is a level 3 fort. My level 3 army is right there. Will do. I 
I need an auto loot feature. Someone, please, make a mod for auto loot. That is compatible with Iron Man. Wow, he is just recruiting like crazy. What's up, man? Yeah, these are all mercs. They have to be, because he has no manpower. Okay, Korea has pieced out. That's fine. Ming has reaffirmed their alliance with Korea. Does that mean Korea is going to join against me? No, because Ming's not a co belligerent. Desperately. Okay, I'm going to set my vassals on aggressive now. I don't know if that's going to make them do anything different, but we'll find out. Okay, the Oirat have pieced out. That's pretty bad for me, but it, it doesn't matter that much, I don't think. Yeah, so my vassals are now starting to spread out in siege. That's great. How's my exhaustion? Not that bad. Lose my colony in somewhere or spend points. I don't want to lose my colony because it's at half. So we'll spend the points. Oh, my inflation. Is a Master of Mint available? Nope. Japan wants me to give him land. Yeah, I don't think so, Japan. Pretty sure this war is going to turn around as soon as, um, well, as soon as I'm done with Ming. I keep forgetting the looting army. Jesus, how do I keep forgetting that? Yay, the capital fell. Alright, let me see fort levels. 
I'm so glad they added the fort level map back. I was asking for that since they released the game. Because <laughs> that was in EU3, and it makes it very... Uh, it's just very easy to see where you want to put your troops and stuff. And where you want to build your forts. And he has a 12 base tax down here, right? Yeah, let's go siege the 12 base tax. I'll slow him up. How do you slow someone up? Don't you mean slowing them down? Oh, you shut your hole. Hmm. Oh, the Oirats have rebels that are going to flip lands back to them. Lol. I bet they'll peace out, though. Yeah, they're at low enthusiasm. It's too bad. Was he going to unseat his capital? I want to repay my loans. You know what? Yeah. Why not? I just repaid all my loans. Wow. That looting. Sweet. Ming wants to give me two provinces. That is not a good peace deal. Tell you what, Ming. How about we go for all of your land and call it even? Deal? Seven base tax. That'll do. Where's Shun's army? Shun's the one who has all the cores down here, and I don't see his army. Oh, he's over here. Oh, Shun's fighting this other war. God damn it, Shun. Come over here and get your cores, idiot. I'll set a target for him. Maybe that'll help. So you click on a province, and you say target for Shun. Go for it, Shun. So let's start handing these over to Shun. Anything that he has a core on. Aw, oh, lose stability because warriors do not read books. Oh no, we were forced to break our alliance with Oirat. That's not good. In the peace deal with Uzbek, we were forced to break our alliance with Oirat. Oh, poop. Or he was forced to break his alliance with us. Um, Alright, we should probably improve relations then. He also lost his vassal, Yarkand. I wish you would have made him break his alliance with Coria instead of with me. God damn it. Because then I could have declared on him and he wouldn't have Coria as an ally. Oh well. Get relations up. Because he still has an army, right? Yeah, Orrot still got a decent army. He just... He wasn't fighting that war, so he just, he just lost it. He fucking lost it, man. How's the war with Muscovy versus Crimea no guy in the Ottomans? Muscovy's winning that war. Really? Alright. It's pretty impressive that he's winning a war against uh, the Ottomans, Crimea, and no guy. Because that's, you know, horde power. And the Ottomans. Well, that could really work in our favor if... Cruelty of mercenaries. 
Yeah, they do what they do what they want. If uh, I forget what I was gonna say. Uh oh, Orbot hates us now. GG. Damn it. Go away, Japan. I don't want peace. How's Japan manpower? Japan. He's got no manpower. But he does have 20,000 troops. And his vassals have troops as well. So, eh. Go for the highest base tax provinces first. Give that to my vassal. What's our war score on Ming? It is 17. Not that good, huh? It'll get better. You would think his capital would be worth more than 17. Nope. So Shun is finally going to bring his troops back. And uh, hopefully he'll start sieging the target province that I gave him. But we'll see. I don't know. Those commands don't seem to work that well. But you know what? We're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Chen. You've been you. Come back next time for continued war against Ming and Japan. I'll see you then. Have a good day.